They say you should never prey on one's downfall. Or you should never celebrate your enemy's downfall too much. And they say when you dig in one hole, make sure you dig another one, just in case you got to go in it. So 50 Cent has been celebrating um, Diddy's, um, I guess, demise for the last couple of months, ever since the accusations came out. Uh, 50 Cent has been going super hard on Diddy on the internet. He's been just major trolling. He's been going to the extent of trolling to the max. Uh, Sometimes to me, it gets cringy. Uh, I see a lot of people in the comment section. They seem to enjoy it. But to me, it gets cringy. It gets a little bit, you know. And I do know that there's some issues there with the Supreme thing and the Mace thing. And the biggest one of them all is baby moms. You know, Diddy was running around with his baby moms. And that seems to trigger something in 50 Cent. Well, now, 50 Cent baby mom is accusing him of some of the same things that Diddy is being get accused of. So she's alleging that 50 Cent has, yep, raped her. Also is being a horrible uh, dad. Uh, he has, hasn't seen his kid for about 10 times since they moved to New York. And, you know, pretty much throwing 50 Cent under the bus of saying that she's been protecting him. She's been trying to make sure that she can keep the family unit together with him and his son. And he's been pretending like he's been doing that when he really hasn't been. Um, these are all accusations. So we don't know if none of this is true. Just like with Diddy, these are all accusations. Uh, until I see a guilty verdict, I will not say someone is guilty or innocent because I don't know. I don't know if a person is innocent and I don't know if a person is guilty. But I do know that when you have accusations against you, uh, people seem to think you're guilty, especially people in our community, unless they like you. If they like you, they don't have an issue. Um, if they feel like you're someone they like, they don't have an issue. So for the most part, I've been looking in the comment section. I've seen a few comments that uh, is defending Daphne Joy. But for the most part, everybody is saying that she's a liar. She's just coming out with this now. Uh, just like Cassie just came out with her information the other day. Um, but she's not a liar. Uh, let's take a look at what Daphne put. Let me put it up here big so you can guys can check it out and see what's going on here. Yes, I'm not one to um, accuse anyone of anything. Like I said, I don't know if this is true. I don't know if it's false. And I would never put this on 50 Cent just like I'm putting anything on Diddy. I do know people have accused... Uh, them of things before, you know. She have accused 50 Cent of beating her up before. Uh, he had took a plea deal. Um, and, and they they squashed everything out. But 50 Cent has been real petty, real cringy to me. He's been real uh on the kiddish side with his with his um with his internet uh reaction. You know, some people love it, some people can't stand it. I'm one to say that, you know, some stuff you just go too far. You, you, you know, 50 Cent is the type of guy that seems like he doesn't know when to stop. You know, yeah. once he get a couple of p people in the choir cheering him on, he's going to keep going. And for the most part, that's what he's been doing. And now that she's going to be accusing you of the same thing, that some of the same thing that Diddy is being accused of, we're going to see how that turns out. We're going to see if this is going to hit a major news outlets. We're going to see if people are going to talk about it. We're going to see if people are going to say the same thing or do whatever. Or is she going to retract her statement and say she's just, you know, she was just venting? Who knows? But we'll see in the near coming future. But I do know that when you are actively seeking to tear someone down, you need to make sure that your home is clean. You need to make sure that you don't have nothing uh, at the house that can come back for you or nothing in your past that can come back for you. Make sure you don't live in a glass house because somebody could throw a stone and break, you know? and shatter that house for you too. So, you know, I don't know if none of these stuff is true against either one of these guys. But, you know, I can't even say it's fun to talk about because it's cringy and I don't like to hear stuff like this. I just, you know, I just can't imagine a man just taking whatever he want from a woman. Uh, it's not my, you know, that's kind of lame. It's not even kind of, it is lame to me. It's, you know, it deserved the death penalty to, to be honest with you if you are doing that. But, let me know what y'all guys think in the comment section, man. Uh, I'm out of here.